everything is in. So they're, uh, they put up, so when you get to the walls, you got those little angle brackets. So I'll have to put in one there and one there, probably one there and I'll have to modify them. So what we'll do is we'll take a measurement, we'll cut, and since we have the tools, we'll just weld the angle bracket tire in piece and set it on there. That way we don't have to do all that notching on the other end. So they're adjusting this to the plans, they need to slide over a little bit. But we've got these pans, and so each of the floor pans has a number on it. And that number, like 23 here, will coincide with J23. And so that is the piece that goes here. And now, of course, we've got an angled wall here. So once we snap, you know, put that in, lay it on there, we'll have to get our edge, cut the pan to match the wall. But that's the general idea how all that works. So want to show you that and uh, they're gonna keep on rolling along and we should uh, start setting floor pan pretty quickly these already come in the pre-cut length so like here they match the beam so we will take and uh, the longer ones out there they will snap in they're already full length so it's not any themes going this way so we'll just do that snap in and build the whole floor and uh, have something to walk on. All right. Probably earlier in the video, I was talking about how I had uh, about three beams that were too long. And instead of cutting them, I was just gonna use them over here in the used to be garage. But the guys were like, hey, let's just knock this out. So I said, you know, who am I to deny? So they already cut. <laughs> They already cut off what we need. I've got a uh, a drill for pilot hole too, if you want it. it. That might work. Okay. Yeah. So I already cut the excess we needed off. And I'm gonna drill a hole for the, move the uh, piece back and there we go. See, one of the reasons that I take this project on myself because I have all the tools. <laughs> now we got new holes drilled. We'll have to do a little bit of, oh, they already did the angle cut for that. I mean, done. Right? There you go. Hating that uh, Chris ain't here today, though. That was helpful yesterday. Now to get another one ready. So he's using the angle grinder. See, this way you gotta have a crew that's multi-talented. These guys usually frame all our wood houses. But uh there you go. Hmm. <laughs> James Brown will be wanting that medal.
Ta-da. There you go. Just like that. Let us see what has been accomplished. I haven't checked it out yet either. Since the last video, I had to do a little bit of work. Hey, we got some shade in here for once. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Look at that. Huh? Yeah, a little bit of shade. Just throw it down. <laughs> yeah, got some got some uh, overhead action going on, so feeling pretty good about it. Right, girl? <laughs> All right, day two is over. So give you an idea, the heat has been so bad here that uh, we usually kick off about three. We start we start at six, kick off at three. They start they got to come from further away. They start about seven. Yesterday kicked off at three, today kicked off at four. So, it can take an hour for lunch, so, yeah, that's a full day, that's eight, you know, still, still got a full day in, but as you see, man, we got some shade now. Look at that. So I expect that they will hide the rest of the pan down tomorrow where we can. I'm gonna have to get one more joist that goes here. I'm going to have to get some more lock bars. But, as you saw in the video, I mean, system was super easy to uh, cut and adjust. And these guys have never done this system before. I've never done it before. And here we are. So, uh, we'll go around, triple check everything, but... Um, 
like I said, it looks, I feel like we'll be done with the pan tomorrow. Um, and then I'll just have to get those extra pieces. And uh, once I have those, there we go. So that's eight inch, 14s. Uh, so we will be furring that down or doing some, I'll probably do like a some sort of drop ceiling. Not like the little weird looking squares in the office buildings, but some sort of big panel deal. I'll have to look into that. Not gonna worry about it. We have options. We knew that was gonna be something we had to take care of. Uh, out here, you see they lined all that up. All the way through pretty much. We are, oh, let me we're off an inch. So, real close. Uh, we'll foam those those gaps. Um, and then when we pour, when we pour the concrete, it locks it in and no more movie movie. So, feel good. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. I'm going to fly the drone. I've already flown the drone a couple times while work was going on, but this video will be out before the final video of us finished. I'll fly the drone shows the progress we have right now. All right, so getting done. Try some little areas that we'll have to do a little something with, you know, the round area. So we'll run, uh, make sure we have a lot bar under that. And then we'll have a piece there. We'll have to trim when we get to the foam. But overall, I mean, this is day three. So the morning of day three. And uh, we're finished doing that. We've got that to do. And I mean, it's still a good amount to do, but considering uh, they didn't really start on the floor until later yesterday. So they kind of rolled through it. And we'll have, um, may have already talked about this. If I did, I just edited it. But got one beam, got to get for there. We need eight beams for what used to be the garage that is now uh, living space. I'm gonna build a separate shop up there. Um, and on the plan, they had this as a steel beam, um, but they didn't convey that to the steel guys that we had changed it. So I'm getting another J34, which is this beam. That'll go there and then um, it'll all work out that would be fine so a couple little things to get to take care of it but uh yeah i mean nice this is let's see that's the breakfast area and this is that's the wall to the guest air guest bedroom so right about here roughly is the kitchen island or probably more like there kitchen island and then this is the living room area. These will have doors. So downstairs are big doors that fold out of the way up here, French doors. And that divider that's in the middle so you don't see that post is hidden behind there. Had a few people ask about this. And what happened here, we look back at the tape. The uh, This was filled as I went by. And I told James to vibrate it. And instead of James doing it, he told Michael to vibrate. Michael vibrated it, but then no one came back to it. And it's just a miscommunication between my guys. So we got about a quarter of a yard to put in this uh, hole that we'll have to do. You know, one of those things, like I said, I always, I'll show you even the mistakes and that's just one of them, but project this big, I know now, um, oh, that's yeah, a great time to bring something up. So. You know, a comment we got too is, hey, you got these, uh, I see guys standing around, but they're all, they all have jobs. So uh, we could bring them in later in the day, but it's better get everybody in the morning, get them on the same page. And uh, like half that crew you saw, the ones that were working in the morning, they left uh, when we were doing the concrete, they left. And then uh, the other guys had to do some work. So 
you know, there's post hop jobs. Now, this is one of the things uh, we'll double check and look out for, but, um, you yeah. know, one thing is just guys on the wall beating on the wall, yada, yada, yada. So, yeah. So everybody has a little, little job. They have a, a part and I don't know where I was rambling, where I was going with all that, but I guess just to say that, uh, you know, you need a bunch of guys on poor day, or a bunch of people on poor day, and, uh, you know, not everybody's gonna be doing something at the same time, so. Uh, especially, so camera guys too, that's gonna be something I'm gonna work on, is having uh, camera people to uh, have a more direct things that I wanna make sure they video, so. Yeah. Let's see, I'm missing my nine amp, but that's not it either. That means mine is gone, which is expensive. So I'm gonna have to text Uriel and tell him to look for it. So, all right, I'll uh, keep on keeping on. It's just half the crew today. So, you know, they're making good progress. They started about here today. So you got all that. So they'll get that, this, lunchtime, that, I mean, I expect them to be done today with what they can do. And then when I bring the other pieces in, uh, they'll be able to, of course, do those. So there you go. All right, it's time to show the boss the progress. On a mission. Hmm. This should be good. Oh, wow. This is like a whole other level now. See, 
now that it's like boxed in and everything, yeah, it looks way bigger. Huh. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. This looks great. I'm so proud of you, Jeffrey. I mean, this is seven days a week. You're busting your butt pops. Hmm. So the stairs. Yeah, stair goes here. We've got to decide. Electrical. The whole design. No, uh, there'll be some equipment here. There'll be a sub panel there, but most of it goes over oh, okay. over there. And then this is the den, the kitchen, et. and then this is our play area. Yeah, this is the play area. So we took we took a uh, this was all storage all around here. So that's why we got rid of the second floor because we we're like well, that's kind of stupid. So that area is still going to be the mechanical room and storage over there. Okay. Um, and then the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom will be here. You'll have a door that goes into the mechanical room. And then this is all game room. You wouldn't have seen these two posts before, but now you will. So we're gonna uh, put wrap those and we're gonna put little tables, bar top tables around them. So that'd be a place like set drinks and stuff since it's the game room. So I think yeah, that'll work out. Idea. I think that'll work out fine. That's the down to the theater yeah. through there. So and we have performances. Uh, yeah, performances. <laughs> yeah, I'll build you a little stage. You can do there a puppet show. I'd be like, you, you ever watch that show, Mad TV? Yeah. Be like, ooh, look at me, Stuart. Look at me. <laughs> uh, great. I love that part. That part's my favorite. The little radius area? Yes. Well, I'm glad because that the radius about killed me. Can, to me, that's what makes the house Pop. Pop, huh? Mm. Like, snap, crackle, pop. Mm. Now, that one was the hardest to do by far. And uh, this one was difficult because of getting around the windows, but we have a better plan for the next floor. So, I hope, you know, first time you do things is always hard, and then it's a little easier. So, yeah. See how it works out? No, this looks great. Look at this view, too. Holy moly. Yeah, no. I can't wait for the pool. That's what I need. I need that in my life right now. Ooh, what is this? Is, this a drag is that a um, dragonfly? Yeah. That's beautiful. Look at it. Yeah, we got a little water in there. We can go swimming now. Let's do it. Let me push you in. Uh, won't work out. Hmm? And hey, uh, we it got. holds the water. Yeah. We got tons and tons of rain, so we're back to mud life in the lake um, they have started building behind us so hopefully yeah. soon it's gonna have uh maybe by this before winter they'll have grass in it so that'll help with that i can't wait to, to get up there because you know i'm too scared right now so i'll wait until it's poured okay oh you're gonna then be a long go time up. then i know then i'll go up and look at my view mm -hmm. But we're gonna have a door from our bedroom now, right? Yeah, because I, I pushed you on that, even though you didn't want it. You were like, no, you were fighting me on it. I was like, you're well, not gonna wanna be able to just sneak out the side? I'm gonna shock the community right now. Hold on, hope you're sitting down. It was a good idea. <coughs> I know. <laughs> I'm glad that you pushed on that, because now thinking about coming out to the deck. Yeah. I definitely do want that from our bedroom. Okay. So I don't have to go out through my office. That's stupid. Yeah, see, told you. You're smart sometimes. Occasionally I come through. Yeah. This looks fantastic. It's getting there. We need uh So we'll be moved in in like two months? Maybe three. Okay. Hmm. Did she say years? I think she said years. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, so the guys, you know, we'll finish. So Monday, we'll finish up the floor and we'll be ready to start stacking block for the next floor. I'm thinking, and then somewhere in there, the um, materials are coming in to do the waterproofing that we have to do everywhere. So we'll waterproof everywhere, we get inspected, and then Chris can backfill all this. Once again, it'll look like a totally different little layout. So every step is a uh, pretty big change, so. All right.
Have a really good day. Bringing Q over here. He ain't seen it. I ain't seen a thing. I'm so excited. Man, I need a Rick and Morty shirt. Nah. <laughs> Gotta get swifty with it. Yeah. Look, James put up my birdhouse. You see it, don't you? It's laying in the field. The red box in the field that we already passed. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Way behind you now. Behind me. See it laying in the field? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is it? It's the birdhouse he put up. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, can't even put up a birdhouse. I'm like, why's it on the ground? Bird like being on the ground? I, no, it fell over. Oh. <laughs> Oh, how's my phone? Oh, wow. Huh? Look at that. It looks like a house. Might be able to get something done. Yeah, you put a flat roof on it and be done. I know, it's, it's over. <laughs> hey, just pile dirt all over it. I'll be one of those uh, homes in the earth. Ah! Get some good waterproofing. Yep, done. Uh, two and, a half. two and a half. It was two days, the whole crew, and it was a day of half the crew. Wow. There you go. So, uh, this one has to move over. We got a beam that goes here. Okay. Then this gets filled up. This is the opening we have to work with for the stairs. Okay. Because on the plans, you know, it just goes up, you turn around and go up. But I mean, we could, anything we can put in this space will work. We got to build those because, you know, they get the uh, little angle brackets to hang on the steel. Uh -huh. And that'll be done. And there's one over there. So they came, they had all of their, they used your tools? Yeah. Like the bolts and everything? Yeah. So. This is awesome.